Jesus, so I can only just see that cyclist. Wow, he was camouflaged. The car did not see him at all. I'm ready to take control. Will it do it? Definitely not. If no one's entering it, I will give it a whirl. Um, no one's here, so we'll give it a quick whirl. Aborting, aborting. Welcome back everybody to Tesla Driver. I hope you're doing very well. Today we're gonna to be taking some English country roads here. Oh, braking very hard, interesting enough. I think it was because of the dip in the road. Uh, it decided to brake very, very hard there. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna be going through Royal Wood and Bassett, which is the town that we're going through right now. And then we're gonna be doing some English country roads and just seeing how it's, how it's coping basically with the corners. It's quite a tight one here. And then through the bus stop, is it going to... Whoa, no, 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 definitely not. That was not a good start to a video. So you saw that issue right there. It actually took the bus stop as a lane. I've, I've said this so many times about the bus stops. It took the bus stop as a lane and decided to go down it. And that caused it not to be able to corner hard enough at the end. And it was, it seemingly just was going at that curve. It didn't even seem to kind of try and navigate around it at all, which is a little bit strange, but hey ho, onwards and upwards. Let's put this back on. So this is 16.2.1, uh, which is the newest update. And it does slow itself down for corners now and stuff like that, which is really good. But I want to see how does it work through these little towns? Because we've got a few towns and some country roads en route here on our way back to Khan. Braking nicely there behind this car. We're going to take the right turn as well. Oh, let's see what it picks these up as. Are these going to be cones or are these going to be little bollards? They're all cones. This is an, a new road, actually, so this this is quite nice. This is a really nice tarmac. There's a fallen over cone there. Is it going to pick it up? It picked it up, but it, oh, it didn't show it fallen over, which is such a shame because it, it can show them fallen over uh, in this new update, but it decided there for some reason not to show it fallen over. Um, oh, that's a little bit of a shame. Oh, okay. It doesn't want to turn autopilot on. Maybe it's because of this corner. I'm not sure, but it didn't want to turn on autopilot there for a, for a second. Still not wanting to turn it on. Okay, now we can. There we go. And look, it's putting us in the middle of the road. So there actually used to be lines down the middle of this road, but they seem to have deleted them in favor of very bright double yellow lines on both sides of the roads, which is fine for the humans, <laughs> but for us autonomous people, <laughs> yeah, it's putting us right slap bang in the middle. And then it starts to take us over to the left as the road gets wider, slightly to the right. So again, if there's roads like this that don't have good lines down the middle and stuff, it's still struggling with them. Still needs to be sorted out. So we're coming up to a junction here. And interestingly enough, for that junction, there was no line on the floor. On The, the Tesla didn't show any lines on the floor showing that it was a junction. Normally, it always puts lines on the floor saying that it knows that it's a junction. But there, for some reason, it wasn't bothered by it. Okay, we're going to wait because Autopilot still doesn't want to turn on. There we go. We've got Autopilot back on now. And these are those really tight bridges that I went through in another video uh, that I had to take, oh, loads of stones on the floor, uh, that I had to take control of because it is a really, really horrible bridge here. Uh, let's see if there's anything coming around it. We've got a car, yeah. So the car started to break there. You'll feel it like, you won't feel it. You'll have seen that the car was actually breaking there as that came around the corner because it knew it couldn't squeeze through, um, but it, it was then trying to squeeze past it and I just wasn't gonna risk it. So, Jesus, so I can only just see that cyclist. Wow, he was camouflaged. The car did not see him at all. I only saw him quite late on. I was looking forward and I could only see him late on because he was so camouflaged in the shadows. That is what I'm talking about. The shadows make it really, really hard for everyone to see there. Uh, but the car, like you saw, the car didn't show a cyclist, didn't show any warning and wasn't slowing down. So hopefully it needs uh, a little bit of an update on that soon. So this corner here is quite tight and previously it's done some limitating things. And look at this, slowing itself down. Oh, Jesus, he was on our side of the road because of that cyclist. The car didn't react to it. I think I reacted more to it. Uh, again, going into 30, I would have rather it slowed itself down before. But you saw it slowing itself down there for that corner. Oh, braking hard, I think because of the lorry again. Yeah, it's definitely the sunlight because the sun is is like over there and it's bringing loads of shadows it's definitely causing some issues here for the tesla so we'll slow it down as we come up to this roundabout if no one's entering it i will give it a whirl um no one's here so we'll give it a quick whirl 
aborting, aborting. That's what I've noticed as well, is that it actually aborts now straight away as you get to roundabout. If you're leaving autopilot on at a roundabout, it kind of just aborts straight away. Um, so I've got to watch out for that. Whoa, okay, that was horrible. I'm not sure what happened there, but whatever it thought it saw, it reacted in a very horrible way. Okay, the sunlight is causing issues. That's, that's all I'm saying so far, is the sunlight is definitely causing issues. And the problem is now that we've gone into this town, is I've actually got cars right up my bum. Um, and obviously if it does a hard brake like that again, it is quite dangerous for cars that are so close to you, but let's hope that, let's hope that it doesn't do anything crazy. I've got my foot ready, sat just on the accelerator, just in case it decides to do any hard braking and I can just kind of floor it so that at least someone behind us doesn't get caught up in it. Here we got a car coming out here on the left, but it stopped for us, which is good. So this roundabout, for example, it normally just goes straight over. Let's see what it does. Oh, so this time it didn't abort and look at that, just went straight over the roundabout with no problems. So that's quite interesting that it seems to have, uh, maybe because that one didn't have a central reservation, it didn't have a problem with it. I'm not 100% sure. We need to take the left lane here, but it's, yeah, it is taking the left lane. It just took it a little bit later. I would like to see an update that includes these zebra crossings. That'd be quite nice to see, even if it's just the lights and then, you know, something on the road, it'd be quite cool. And then as we come out here, we'll go into this 40, which has had a new road on, and I don't know if the lines are complete yet, but we'll see. Again, you can see there, it says it's a 50. Those signs clearly said it's a 40. This used to be a, a 50 as of a couple of weeks ago. Okay, so we've got some traffic lights that definitely won't be on the system and they're bagged up. Does it show them? No, it doesn't. So what do we think, guys? Do we think that the traffic lights are all programmed in or do we think that sometimes it is reading like as it sees it? So let's see how it reacts here. It might not like that car. No, yeah, it's braking really hard for that car. So I had to put my accelerator down a little bit and now it's taking back control. So I'm not slowing itself down, I'm not speeding it up here, it's speeding itself up, it really needs to slow down for this corner, like really needs to slow down. There we go, starting to slow down, starting to take the corner slowly, limits itself, so it needs to go down to 25 here in the UK to take that corner. For reference, most people take it at about 35, uh, 35 miles an hour. If you're on the other side of the road, you do it at 40 miles an hour because it's a little bit wider. But doing pretty well through here. It might limit, no, no limiter there. And then we'll bring it back up to the speed limit of 50. Coming up, we've got a kind of a dive, basically. The road goes up here and then down. It's had so many problems here before. Will it do it? I'm ready to take control. Will it do it? Definitely not. Oh, 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 I nearly swore badly because that was, that did not feel safe at all, guys. Just saying there, that was not turning. Um, yeah, that didn't feel good at all. So it needs some work there being done. Hopefully with me disengaging like that there, someone will now see that and have a look at that scenario and see how they can fix it. So we'll come back to that area in a later video and see how well it's done and whether it's changed or not. So even though there's no lines on the road here, we are keeping to the left-hand side. Uh, we're coming up now behind a cyclist into a 40. So let's see how the car reacts to this. It's not showing him on the screen. It's showing the van ahead and the car, but you can see there it's not showing the cyclist. Okay, now it's showing the cyclist, but we can't overtake just yet. I'll have to go for it now. Again, obviously the car won't go for the overtake or anything. And I wonder if it will pick this guy up because he's quite close to the road. No, it didn't pick him up at all. We're coming to the end of the road now and it's not allowed me to turn it on at all. So even though we had, we've had we been on this road loads before, I've autopiloted it so many times flawlessly, just because there were no road markings this time, it wasn't going to work at all, which is a real shame. But I'm wondering how are they gonna fix that in a future update? They've gotta make it so that it knows to stay on the left, it knows that it can do the road and uh, that it can drive itself down. Okay, we're putting this back on. Interesting enough, it says it's a 30, it's definitely a 50. Um, so I'm gonna put it up to 50, but that's that's not reading, it's, it's slowing me down, it's forcing me to go 30 in a 50. What is up with this? Literally, the signs on the, on the road say 50. This has always been a 50, but now for some reason it's saying it's a 30. It's a, I think it becomes a 40 in a minute. 
So it's slowing down for this roundabout here. Let's see what it does. Let's see if it'll do it. Is it gonna go around it? No, it's going that way. It's definitely going that way. So we'll take back control. So that's quite annoying. And again, it does show that it's not reading, it's not reading the, uh, the road signs at all because it got it completely wrong. It's, it's not a 30, uh, simple as that really. So we're pulling up here. I think we've got some kind of construction ahead of us. See, there's the 30. So the 30 begins here. So that, that warned us about that so, so early on. <laughs> uh, and I hope, hopefully that will, hopefully that will change soon. Okay, we've got some lights, the traffic lights. Yeah, that's showing. So, you know, maybe not because, oh, it's, that was following that car over there, but we are, we are going this way. So that's interesting. So again, those lights are definitely temporary and it actually decided to show them. So maybe just because those lights were bagged up previously, um, that was, that was the problem. Oh, is he? I, I can't, I can't get through that, dude. I can't, you've got a big trailer on the back of you. I don't know what, what this kind of problem was, but okay. Ah. Oh. Right, I'd have gone to pavement, shall I? The car behind me had to go on the pavement as well. Oh, cyclist going good. This is gonna be good actually, because we're gonna be able to see. Oh, interesting enough, it didn't show the cyclist going across the zebra crossing. It showed him going like past us afterwards and stuff, and it showed some of the people there, uh, but it didn't show everything. So this, for example, is gonna be another area where I'm intrigued to know how the car's going to uh, sort it out. This is a, a right of way for cars coming that way. So I wonder if it's always gonna wait until it's completely clear or if it will try and barge through a certain area. So like for Nawi, for example, we can go because this chap is giving us right away, which is great. But how is the car gonna know that? I'm not sure. And the great thing is it has to be able to do all these things so we're gonna be able we're gonna see how they're gonna try and resolve it like we will find out at some point so i'm quite excited to see how how that actually works so these guys just went straight through that red light i'm pretty sure car's doing well here even though there's loads loads going on yeah accelerating off nicely again very surprised actually Considering how much was going on there, it did that really well. I'm gonna keep the speed limit down to, th actually no we're not, we'll go to 30. It's actually sticking to the left side of the road really nicely. Yeah, doing really well actually, look at this. I think it might be following this line, but I'm not sure. But again, it will slam on here. I've got to take it off. Uh, we have got a car behind us. So it definitely would have slammed on there for that uh, VW Golf. When I say slammed on, I mean brake very hard. Again here, the road goes wide. So it may think we have ooh, a little bit more road than we did, but now it's hugging the left side of the road nicely. Let's see if it picks up this cyclist. No, will it pick up this lollipop, lollipop lady? No, it didn't pick up the lollipop lady. Going down here fine. And again, the road markings disappear here. Oh, it's picking up that cyclist nice and early. That was good to see. Cyclists on the other side of the road are very hit and miss when it decides to show it or not. So it's, it's still nice to see it. I wish it showed everything that it could see. That's just what I really want it to be able to. I think it kind of is, but uh, you know, I'd like it to show everything on the other side of the road, on our side of the road, etc., etc. Uh, so we've got a car here cutting across, going in. That's fine. The car's braking very nicely, very naturally for that. And again here, it's gonna just go and sit up behind this car and it won't do what I want it to do, which is go around this. So there we go everybody, a little bit hit and miss as always on these kind of town videos and country roads. There's a lot for it to do. There's a lot it needs to figure out. And yeah, I'm not 100% I'm not sure when and how well it's gonna sort itself out. But we will obviously have to find out because these one day will be fully autonomous. So let me know in the comment section, how do you think it's gonna resolve these issues? How do you think we're gonna get it to work uh, so that it can do all these things? And out of 10, how positive are you that they're gonna be able to make these a robo taxi uh, and make them you know, fully autonomous by what, next year? I think, it, I think that's when they were planning them for, was like next year. So let me know in the comment section. Until next time, thank you so much for watching and don't forget, drive safe.